The World Safer Internet Day is an annual event celebrated globally on February 6th dedicated to promoting a safer and more responsible use of online technology. The day emphasizes the importance of creating a secure and positive digital environment for all users, especially children and young people. It serves as a reminder to raise awareness about online threats such as cyberbullying, identity theft and malicious activities. In this report, my colleague Isaac Atase Nyaku takes a look at some of the happenings on the cyberspace. 5.3 billion out of 8 billion individuals worldwide use the internet. This represents over 70% of the world's population. Additionally, over 96% use their mobile devices to access the internet, while 62% use laptops and desktops. In Ghana, there are over 23 million internet users, representing 68% of the total population, with an active social media population of 6.6 .6 million. According to the Bank of Ghana, the country witnessed a 6% increase in cyber email fraud, totaling 1,622 incidents in 2022. With phishing attacks being one of the prevalent risks in Ghana's cyberspace and social engineering a common modus operandi, the Cybersecurity Authority has initiated several awareness campaigns to educate the public on cyber risks and their mitigations. Clearly, more needs to be done to ensure a safer internet space. All right, so let's have a discussion in the back of this. Joining us via Zoom is Stephen Kujo Sishi, lead computer emergency response team at the Cybersecurity Authority. Thanks so much, Stephen, for joining me on the Marketplace World Safer Internet Day. Tell us more about it. Well, thank you for the opportunity. Um, this celebration is really focused on the safe and responsible use of the internet, like you said, and the emphasis around this time every February, um, every year, is around the young people, children and young people, their safe use of the internet. And uh, for that matter, this year, we are, our theme says to empower minds, protecting rights, creating a digital, creating a safer digital Africa. Empowering minds, protecting rights, creating a safer digital Africa. And the target is the children, parents, caregivers, and educators. But of course, like you said, um, the internet is used by businesses as well and they will not be left out. Mm. And when, when it comes to Ghana's situation, um, Stephen, tell me more about it. Paint a picture for me when we talk about safe internet. Well, internet is really a key resource to us, um, whether you are a student, whether you are a business, it's a key resource in doing your business effectively. And therefore, it's, it's, it's key to what everyone is doing. Definitely, we are seeing issues um, reported to us through our point of contact. We have a channel, several channels, in fact, for reporting incidents to the Cybersecurity Authority. We see a variety of reports. We have uh, online scams. We are seeing stuff around ransomware. We are hearing issues around um, the usual fraud on mobile, uh, mobile money and the like. There are several categories of the issues we see. But then when we focus on children, we are looking at, you can look at it from a number of perspectives. You can look at the content that they are exposed to, um, which, which would, would be harmful to them. So whether it's images, whether it's videos or the words they are seeing, you can also talk about the things they, they experience when they, when they contact people they do not know. So um, there are people out there on the internet that are out to exploit them. So you, you potentially might have them and grooming them for sexual related crimes. You can look at even how they are treated online. You can talk about cyberbullying. You can talk about um, people sharing nude photos with them or getting them to share it. And then you can also talk about financial scams that they might be exposed to because they are playing games and they end up being scammed or they are involved in gambling. So these are from the children's perspective. When you look at businesses, um, there are things around phishing. There's issues around business email compromise where essentially it's phishing that is used to defraud a business. So someone is strict to make a financial transaction which results in a loss to the business. So there's quite a wide array, but there are, all these issues are stuff we are picking up.
And how prevalent are they uh, basically at your office? How, how often do you get them recorded? Um, we, we, we record all these issues. As at the end of um, last year, we had well over 13,000 reports to us. And we, when we do the analysis, top of that list, almost close to half of it is some form of online scam. And then you'd have uh, uh, stuff around impersonation as well, all following in that order. Mm. And what are some of the measures you are putting in place to fight these um, threats? So a number of things. Um, top of that list is always around awareness creation, capacity building and awareness creation. And the point is, if the users of the technology are not aware of the dangers, they are likely to then fall for whatever is out there. So we emphasize a lot on creating awareness. Every month we release public alerts, which is based on an analysis of the calls we get. So last month we were talking about job scams, which were now prevalent, um, using um, social media to recruit people to do so-called online tasks, promising them some payments, which never materialized. And the people will rather end up putting in a lot of money to get um, uh, paybacks that don't happen. So that's one way we approach it. We also then do what we call advisories. So based on the technical issues you see, we are still able to give advisories when you call us or when we notice specific trends out there. So we do all this, uh, we, we spend time in school. So today, for example, as part of the celebrations, a number of the staff were in various schools to educate the children, also educate the parents with uh, the necessary information they need to be able to keep safe out there. Stephen Kujo Seshi, we are indeed grateful for your time. Lead Com Computer Emergency Response Team at the Cybersecurity Authority speaking to us on the back of World Safer Internet Day.